Welcome to Dan's on the Street. I'm Dan. Today a little something different. In celebration of the 50th anniversary of men landing on the moon, I thought we could use Google Earth and uh, go visit where they landed here in the Sea of Tranquility, Apollo 11 landing site. Well, let's just dive right in and see what we find. 50 years, how about that? All right, as we get up closer, we notice um, I, I was surprised to see this. I glanced at this before recording here. I never realized they named these three craters here, Aldrin, Collins, and Armstrong. That's pretty great. So even though Michael Collins was up in uh, Columbia, he, uh, he joined them here in spirit and um, in crater. Now here's the surveyor from 1967, two years prior. Interesting. So obviously they wanted to explore the surface. I think that was the third lander, or something like that, third successful lander. And um, very helpful, I'm sure, as they were designing the the LEM, or the Eagle. Let's drop right down in. All right, we're getting closer. Notice the large craters. Uh, it's a mercy that they landed in a relatively flat spot I mean, and through skill on their part of navigating it, had they landed over here just a little bit this way, that could have been a tragedy. Let's drop right in. A wonderful little model here from Google. There it is, the eagle. Pretty awesome. And they have it all marked out here nicely on the ground. You can see some of the routes they took. They were only out in their EVA for about two and a half hours, just over. So not very long. They were kept it pretty safe, all things considered, uh, you know, much shorter than some of the later missions. And uh, well, let's, let's go down on the ground. All right, we're on the ground here. Interesting. Uh, it's one small step for me and a small leap for the podcast. That's uh, one small step for me, and uh, one giant leap for this YouTube channel. They have a couple of photographs down here. Oh, first off, here's the flag. How about that? Nice little model of that. Pretty great. Now, I've read that this was actually knocked over when they launched back up, so this upper portion here launched back up into space and rendezvous with the uh, Columbia uh, command module. And uh, as they did that, it knocked over the flag. So I think in subsequent missions, they put the flag a little further away so it wouldn't get the blast. There's no air here, no oxygen, but there's still, uh, still a blast force coming out of that rocket as it took off. So uh, yeah, still can knock stuff over. The view from north of the lunar module. Let's pop into one of these photographs. There's a couple on the ground here. And we will slowly... Look how slow this animation is. In we go. Okay. All right. We're on the ground here. I love the resolution of the real photographs here. Fantastic how they've kind of wrapped them around. Really matches the scene here, too, obviously. They've done a good job with that. Look at these craters all around. Some decent sized boulders, too. Rocks, whatever you want to call them. Pretty neat. It's amazing this. It's amazing how flimsy this looks. You can see, like, the weld spots on it, and it looks like fabric. Uh, I'm sure it's not, but uh, very thin materials protecting the outside of this. Here's the big wide foot pads. Interesting. Uh huh. And there's all these little experiments they set up on the ground. This one, I believe, is the solar wind experiment. Not quite sure how this works. They pointed at the sun. You can see the long shadows here. And it appears to be mylar or some material like that. And they were measuring solar wind. Solar wind is crazy, it travels at like 400 miles a second, charged particles. Super. You don't, you don't want to be in the face of solar wind. Uh, on Earth we face it, but uh, we have a magnetic field protecting us, for the most part. 
but out here in the open, you are really exposed to the raw elements. Interesting, this cable running out here. Is this an electrical cable? See this on the ground? Running over to another experiment. Oh, maybe this is the camera. That might, kind of looks like a camera. They set up a video camera to record the... as they Basically, as they launch back up into orbit. So they could watch it on TV. Fantastic. Look at that surface. Completely untouched. Well, until there were some boot prints there. That's pretty cool. Solar wind collector, okay. The close-up camera, okay. Contingency sample. Yeah, so when, right when they landed, Neil Armstrong put a rock, there it is, into his pocket, basically, just in case they had to suddenly l jump back into the spaceship, maybe the, if their suit was damaged or something, or who knows what happened, what might happen, but he grabbed a rock and saved it just in case. And I wonder where, where that rock is today. Memorial items, but yeah, they left a few things on the ground, honoring... I believe the three who had died, um, Gus Grissom, Ed White, and Roger Chaffee, Chaffee? Oh, as well as two Soviet medals for cosmonauts who had died. And that's pretty cool. Very civil of them during a Cold War. Commemorative plaque. Oh yeah. So this was underneath this, the ladder going down. And it said, uh, here men, from the planet Earth first set foot upon the moon, July 1969 AD, and we came in peace for all mankind. Pretty great wording. Gotta like that. Gate experiment. Here's that famous photograph. Fascinating. It's just kind of looking how they move around. They weren't quite sure. They did all kinds of tests of how it would be to move around on the surface. Um, endlessly studied and of course then when you actually get there you gotta see what it's like and I, I read it actually in their experience it was a little easier to move around than they feared I'd love to experience that wouldn't that be the greatest thing uh, I don't think I'll ever get to the moon <laughs> I'd love to visit Cat's Paw Hills I wonder what that's the name for yeah, it doesn't seem likely that uh, even my kids, maybe my grandkids, there'll be some chance they'll be able to get up here. I'm hoping someday it becomes much more common. And uh, they say there's a moon mission in 2024. I'll believe it when I see it. I'm certainly optimistic. I'd love to see it. But I'm sure in the next decade we'll be landing on the moon. I expect that. I'm pretty sure. Here's that solar wind again, collector, and I'm not sure if we're looking at Neil or Buzz here. I'm going to guess Neil. Flags everywhere here, very patriotic. Probably getting out some experiments or maybe dropping off some rocks. I mean, hard to say. Amazing. Love the light coming through here. Looks like some somebody like dropped a bag in a park. It looks like just garbage under there. Almost certainly it's not, but it's what it looks like. Interesting. What a sight. Can you imagine? And the whole thing, two and a half hours. That, the, all the training, of course there was a whole flight and everything, but essentially it was for that two and a half hours on the surface. And uh, all, these year la all these years later, there's still only just one of, uh, is it 12 who land on the moon? I follow Buzz Aldrin on Twitter, and he's still a very active advocate for space, still signing autographs, and essentially all for this two and a half hour experience. That's, you know, that's his whole life, what it's about. It's amazing. I don't want to make light of it. It's just, it's pretty insane. You know, the length of a movie here. But hey, all more more power to him. Insane. 
could easily have not gone well. Laser ranging retro reflector, okay. Some sort of experiment. And they walked over here. What is this, the PSE? Passive seismic experiment. Oh yeah. So they're experimenting with the seismometer on the, on the moon. Interesting. Very interesting. In later missions, spent lunar modules and... Okay, right. So they crashed pieces of spacecraft on the moon just to kind of tune it and to test it. Let's see. Have we seen this photograph here? Oh, what a slow animation. Bear with me. Okay. Love these long shadows. Can't really see, I mean, it's a dark sky. In our little simulation here, we can see all these stars, but of course, when you're on the moon in direct sunlight, you're not gonna be able to see any stars, just as you wouldn't be able to on a bright sunny day on Earth. Getting out more experiments here. Great sunlight going into the whole lander. Again, yeah, look at that, just the, Oh, it looks so fragile. Looks like a real thin metal. It had to weigh as little as possible, of course. Pretty great. All the legs wrapped. Interesting. I wonder what this little thing is. It's kind of cute. Looks like something out of Star Wars. A little robot would walk around or something. Uh, I'm not sure. Some sort of measuring device. Great distant boulders again. I wonder if any of these footprints are still on the moon. I'm sure that's a question that's been asked. Possibly, I guess. Boy, some seriously bright sun there. All right, let's pull up here. Here's this little west crater. Okay. Armstrong walked over to that. That's right. Let's drop down into a photograph of that. Yeah, it could have been real bad if they landed right on the edge of that and uh, tipped over. That was a big fear. That could have been calamitous. Pretty steep down there. I'm sure they didn't go too far down in there, if at all. I wonder when this impact occurred. A few million years ago, maybe? Maybe much more recent, not sure. That would have been quite a sight, I imagine. Yeah. There it is over there. Flag again. Yeah, starting to get a little sense of the kind of view here. Just a couple experiments popped all around. They stayed pretty close on this mission. Apollo 11 is, you know, there's no car on this mission. No driving around, no long excursion. Just, they landed, they walked around for a little bit, got some samples, dropped off experiments, and were pretty much back in the ship. And then I think they took a nap in there before launching back up into orbit. That must have been one unbelievable nap. Yeah, napping on the moon. I'd try that. Pretty cool. All right. Again, this great, great view of the sky here. Although, yeah, like I said, if you're on the far side of the moon, you would have the most unbelievable view of the stars. Uh, well, at least the dark, you know, Whatever the dark side is, that would be an amazing sight. But here in the sun right now, and when they landed, no stars. But I, I remember reading a quote from Michael Collins as he was orbiting on the back side of the moon. He said it wasn't just like, I forget the actual quote, but it wasn't like he could see, it was so bright with stars, it was just all stars. There was no, uh, like, 
it was a sea of stars. It was unbelievably bright because there's nothing blocking the view. Like it was just, there was no black. It was just stars basically. <laughs> I mean, that's not really true, but like it was something like that. He was just, he couldn't believe, talk about the ultimate view of the night sky, no atmosphere and no light at all. That'd be just unreal. I think we saw that one already. Double crater, all right. Oh yeah, here's that TV camera. Very cool. Huh. And the flag. Yeah, can't quite click on that. Bulk samples. Oh, that's what that trash bag was. Sample bag. Okay. I think we've seen most everything that's down here to see. It's been pretty amazing. These YouTube links I don't think work. I tried one and uh, no luck. There's the famous patch, the eagle. Apollo 11. Pretty great. All right, let's pull back up. So yeah, this whole, just this top portion launched back into space. And the rest of it still sits there today, untouched. I expect someday we'll get back to, I'm sure we're going to get back to that actual landing site. That is going to be an epic day. Um, photos of that. Oh my word. Yeah, we're definitely going to land there again. I'm sure we'll land all kinds of places on the South Pole all over but uh someday i hope we land right next to that basically very near it at least right if you enjoy this at all definitely come check out on google earth you can visit all over the solar system all kinds of moons and planets i believe um well at least mars and okay i thought you could visit even more than that all right well that was pretty neat I'll have to come back sometime. There's so many other places they have here that you can check out. Some of the other moon missions, the other Apollo missions. And maybe I'll check out Mars someday. Oh man, that could be a good time. All right, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Check out some of my other videos. Most of them are on Earth. You know what? I'd say all of them are on Earth, except for this one. And uh, till next time. Anything more before I head on up, Ruth? I think it is. Head on up the ladder, Buzz. Yeah, head on up, Buzz.